So on the second one, now we kind of have an interesting uh, thing here. We don't have any restriction in the numerator. There's no radical in the numerator. So now we don't really care what's in the numerator. Remember I showed you up there, on Des like on Desmos, it doesn't matter what the heck's up there, right? It's no, no restrictions, at least what we're dealing with. So my two restrictions, restriction number one is going to be um, what's under the radical. So x plus 4 has to be greater than or equal to 0. And restriction number two is whatever's in the radical, or whatever's in the denominator, cannot equal 0. Right? Whatever's under the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0 for any given x. Whatever's in the denominator cannot equal 0 for any given x. Correct? Yes? Good. Good. So let's go ahead and solve. x minus 4, x minus 4. x has to be greater than or equal to negative 4. OK, cool. I can handle that. Um, and then over here, you have to undo the square root would be square it. So you square both sides. x plus 4 cannot equal 0, minus 4, minus 4. x cannot equal negative 4. OK, so that's really important because here it says x has to be greater than or equal to negative 4. But here it says x cannot equal negative 4, right? So therefore, since it cannot equal negative 4, so basically what we would write is um, negative 4 then is actually not contained. It's contained for here, but it's not contained for there. So therefore, our final answer is going to be not contained. So over here, it was contained. It's negative. Oh, it's negative 4. Thank you. Over here, it was contained, but over here, it's not contained because our second constraint limits it to um, not equaling negative 4. All right. All right. Last one.